This is another question where maybe there's a temptation to graph it using Desmos. We, we have an equation and we can kind of see sometimes what perpendicular lines look like, but I, I just think that's a waste of time. We're, we're being asked about perpendicular and that means we're going to need to think about the slopes of the two lines. So let's start by just rearranging the first equation so that it's in a better format, right? This is not the format that we want to understand the slope. We need to get back to y equals mx plus b. So I'd start by subtracting 18x from both sides. I'd get 2y is equal to negative 18x plus 9, but that's not good enough. y equals mx plus b means y has to be completely alone, so I would need to divide by 2. And it's going to cause a little bit of a problem with the 9 because we now have a fraction which is messy, but that actually doesn't matter. So we have negative 9x plus, I'll just leave it as 9 halves. The only thing we care about for perpendicular uh, lines is the slope. So the rule is this. Perpendicular lines have what are called negative reciprocal slopes. So the slope of negative 9 over 1, I'm going to put it over 1 to make it a fraction, is perpendicular, flip it, and reverse the sign. So negative means negate what you have, so that negative became a positive, and then reciprocal means flip the fraction upside down, so 9 over 1 becomes 1 over 9. So the answer is 1 ninth, that is choice C, and that is it. There's nothing else we need to do. Um, if they gave us full equations, then we would just compare the slopes. The y-intercepts do not matter for perpendicular lines. So ignore the b part, just focus on the slope, and remember this rule, perpendicular slopes uh, are negative reciprocals. You need to memorize that. That is not given to you on the test, and they like to ask about it.